today is February the 17th, 2016. I got a new project here that I think you guys will like. A pair of 813s and push pull into my big transformers, my big output transformers. I'm using my Hobby Universal high voltage power supply. I've shown this before. I run uh, back there in the back. Let me get a light. I run uh, four um, equivalent solid state type uh, 866s, big switches over there to switch the transformer because it's got 2000, 2500, and 3000 volt taps. Big capacitor bank there, the big old, uh, I think it's an 8 Henry 550 milliamp, 6000 volt test choke. There's the tubes. I'm going to turn it on in a minute. I just want to show you this before. Right over here is where I can switch the power supplies. So I can switch it to 2000 or 2500, which is where it's set now, or 3000. You know, I built several amplifiers recently. This is the power supply for it, for the um, low voltage section of the, the amplifier. The bio, this provides uh, screen voltage. It takes 750 volts on the screen. This provides, this is the bias rectifier. It takes minus 100 volts on the grid. This is a VR150 also known as an OD3, um, which is a regulator. And then I got a bias adjustment here that I can take off of this regulated supply to power this guy. Haven't powered it up yet. I will in just a second. <clears throat> but let me show you uh, another couple of things. These old tubes, it came out of these boxes right here, but these, these are apparently not the original boxes that the tubes were in, except to January 1944. <clears throat> Excuse me, the code dates on the tubes are 1961. So they were built a bit after that. Let's power this beast up. Got to plug it in first, huh? Well, you can't be too careful when you're dealing with something that's got two or 3,000 volts on it. It's also got a fan in the back that comes on. I can get a lot of power out of this thing. And I think it's going to be a keeper. Oh, I'm using a DIY Poseidon board to drive it with. It does have some shortcomings, especially at the low end. And uh, one of the reasons I'm posting this is to get you guys ideas. You know, there's blogs out there where people talk about a lot of stuff. And there's some tidbits of good information out there, and then there's a lot of whatever. But um, I was just thinking the other day, the fact that I post these things, real things, pictures, measurements, etc., then ask for you guys' thoughts and input on it. I get I get great information from you guys. I really appreciate it. I bet I get better information than the, than the blogs because I'm really doing it. Uh, I have a little bit of a wimpy uh, amp, uh, dummy load here. It's only a 200 water. It gets really hot. I've had it over 400 degrees. Probably not good for it. Let's power the... Uh, high voltage up. That's the high voltage enable. I have it all on a holding relay circuit. I'm big into the holding relay circuits. There we go. Pops up to a 2750, 2750 volts. I've got everything configured here. Uh, the little uh, Tektronix meter here now measuring volt AC. There's a dB gain over a zero dBm. And there is uh, power output which is not important right now it's not doing anything because I got it turned down so I got it attenuated 33 dB well let's unattenuate it some let's set it up there there is uh, well there's our output right there 17.3 watts but let's configure this one too clear 19.8 special and then we get the same number up there 17.26 there 17.3 there. There's our THD at a kilohertz. There's our THD at 17 watts. If we increase it 10 dB by flipping this to zero, if our amplifier is gain is linear, this should pop up to 172 or thereabouts. How about that? Look at our THD. It's, it's amazing. Isn't that a beautiful sine wave? 
I've got it washed out here. I'm sorry. There we go. Now that's a little too bright. It's daytime around here in El Paso and the sun is really bright. But anyway, look at there. It's 189 watts, 190 watts at 0.4% THD. You may be able to even hear it just a tiny bit. There's the 5U4 up there in the, the voltage rectifier uh, regulator. And that little, uh, can't see much of a filament in that 6X5. Got to be careful here. This thing is on. The uh, measurements that I did on the transformer with the impedance bridge I have is just right on. Absolutely love it. Absolutely. Now, this thing performs extremely well. <clears throat> At everything, <coughs> excuse me, at 100 hertz and above. Once I get down below 100 hertz, my um, driver board over here peters out. I can measure that by putting my oscilloscope across it, and, you know, and watching both channels at once. The what's driving the grids and what's coming out of the grids. I mean, what's coming out of the plates and the transformer. I don't know why it does that sometimes when it's not warm. Well, I guess I didn't let it warm up enough. Look, now it's up to uh, 239 watts at 1% THD. There it is. It, it's steady now. Should let it warm up a little bit more. How about that? Well, I was going to I was going to get there, but I guess it got there for me. 200. This one says it's 227, 28 watts. Now it's dropping a little bit. Maybe my tubes are weak. That's at a, that's at one kilohertz. See, let's go to ten. Ten kilohertz, still two hundred twenty watts at two percent. There's our ten. I want it to be a thirty to fifteen kilohertz amp. I don't I don't have to go twenty to twenty kilohertz. That's probably a little bit more than than I should ask for in this guy. But there's our 10 kilohertz. Still not a bad looking sine wave, huh? THD, power output. Okay, now let's go the other end. I'm going to attenuate it a little bit. Just turn it down a little bit. Now let's go to 100 hertz. Still not too bad, huh? See, there's our 100 hertz. 1%. I turned the power down quite a bit. I turned it down to uh, about 100 watts for a lot of reasons. For one thing, my resistor gets screeching hot. Now, watch this. Okay, I have to go back up here to a kilohertz to uh, change my oscillator to 100. Okay, then we're back at the kilohertz. Now I'm gonna go to 100 hertz. Okay, see, there we are, 103. Now watch as I start lowering the frequency. All of a sudden, right there, can you see that? Got wires in the way here. Look at that kink right there. Right there and right there. It's almost at a point where you might think that it's um, crossover distortion, and maybe it is, but it's in my driver. See, that's at 80 hertz. THD, of course, went up 7%. Power dropped slightly. I don't have to do this at full at full blast, but as I go lower in frequency, see it gets worse and worse. That's pretty horrible, isn't it? It's like I'm missing a chunk out of it, like something come along and bit a piece out of it. Now, okay, with all that said, let's turn the lights back on. What I did is I modeled this amplifier primarily after this Altec 260A. Here it is right here. That's where I got the 750 volts with the transmitting tube, RCA transmitting tube manual tells you the same thing. They run uh, 1800 volts on the plate. I can do that too by uh, switching. But anyway, <coughs> the primary difference is this little uh, transformer right here. I don't have that, but I have one kind of close, this guy right here. I tried putting in this guy right here. This is like a 6V6 
um, push pull output transformer and I just didn't use the secondary for anything and it went in and it didn't work it had a very strange low frequency oscillation to it but I'm thinking about trying this see they measure 5.5 K these are DC resistances I think and 5.5 K so this would be a 10 K coil this one only measures 3 K across it across the entire primary what do you think any suggestions to improve the um, low frequency response any of your thoughts on it would be appreciated otherwise everything else in it is right yeah see there it is this idling that's at low frequency it, it gets it, they get kind of red low frequency a little bit of red I believe is okay in an 813 but if I go back up to a kilohertz and then especially drive it even harder the, uh, the color goes away but that's typical of a class AB1 amplifier okay, I'm back up to uh, 240 watts and the color goes away I, I can hardly perceive color here real I know the camera has kind of a, uh, a strange uh, reaction to uh, infrared or near infrared right above it I suppose but anyway that's my latest and greatest project let me turn this thing down uh, let me show you a couple of other things this right here uh, this is for the amateur radio operator I suppose back in the day when I first started using these 813s I used it I used a pair of 811s this is an 811 a type transformer come out of an ART 13 and I used a pair of 811s and I plate modulated one of these uh, 813s that I'm using right now probably one of those two I still I got a couple more up in the attic uh, and it worked really good here's an old uh, modulation transformer out of my old Collins 30k1 transmitter that I bet somebody would like to have with original connectors it ran a pair of 75 ths and plate modulated a um, 4-125 anyway okay back to this one I know I'm jumping around this is the driver board I'm using this is the uh, Poseidon driver board and you can see I've made uh, a whole lot of scratching here I had to change these out these 100 K's uh, these are 68 K like they say everything's pretty normal in here even the feedback I've tinkered with it but this this seems to be okay I don't have a problem with that uh, the plate the plate to plate load impedance of these guys is about 20 K 20,000 ohms and I can get that out of this transformer with these secondary taps right here I'm actually pretty pleased with this thing and I will be listening to it I don't think I'm gonna post any music on the internet because it just I don't know it just doesn't make sense to me but anyway this is my uh, latest and greatest 813 project I you know I built some of these little amplifiers over here like this one right here with these 6b4s and I was really charmed by this thing I listened to this thing for a long time beautiful little 6b4s into that James audio transformer I made a video on this I did go to a 5AR4 here raised the plate voltage just a little bit even got all these uh, little tags off of uh, out of an old GR um, instrument that I uh, parted out and this thing will do a good magnificent 12 to 15 watts sounds really good I even tinkered with some of these 1626's a pair of these guys that's pretty wimpy stuff if you're wanting a, a you know a big whopping three or four watts and uh, that's the way to go and a 45 pound amplifier a little overkill there but that's okay anyway that's what's going on here uh, I don't think there's anything else new like I say it's a fantastic day here in in El Paso let me show you the weather out here whoa it's gonna be 85 degrees today how about that this is my apartment back here that's where I stay most of the time if not there in here playing with high voltage thanks guys any suggestions you have on uh, 
what I can do. I may just have to, you know, outright replace that driver board with uh, something a little bit more substantial.